After hunting around online on the nearly half a dozen or so places I could get a table from, I finally decided to build my own table. Why you ask? Mainly because my living room slash home office area has irregularly shaped corners. I wanted a little side table to keep my super fancy Acoustic Solutions MK928 keyboard from Argus. I'm currently using an old IKEA cupboard but it has two shelves which are unreachable, and I can't keep my existing computer table right up against it. Given the odd corner with the little extrusions, anything will have to fit into the little nook, which means I wouldn't have the length needed to keep my keyboard on it. Any normal size table would have to be placed to line up with the wall that projects out which would lead into my living room space. So I needed something relatively long but not that wide. Anything close to the width I wanted wasn't long enough so I decided to try and build it myself. And where does the average non-DIY guy go to when they need to build something? IKEA, of course. There weren't any tabletops in the size I wanted in IKEA, only wall shelving units. But those looked like they could only probably handle books and not much else, so I almost gave up that idea until. I found a crowd that does good quality wood, which, and I quote, cuts to size with millimeter accuracy for free. You can find them at twosize.ie. So with that, I decided to go with the adult flags from IKEA. The wood was delivered and came in a neat little box with some corrugated fillers. Nice little plank made from different slats of solid wood, which are topped off with a single layer of wood to give it an appearance of a single plank. So you get a good sturdy piece of wood at a great low price. I went with the 4cm deep wood to be the same height as my accessing table once the feet are added. Just to note that the Adil slugs that I bought require at least 2.5cm depth for the screws needed to mount them. Next I used the leg mounting place to give me an easy way to position the legs and mark the holes for drilling. The two drill bits that came with the set were not the same size as the screws. So I used the smaller one to drill guide holes and get a strong grip all the way down to the approximate length of the screws. I then used the much larger one to drill a few millimeters at the top for easier insertion. Afterwards I used a 100 grit sandpaper to smooth down the splinters and any rough bits. Next up I wiped the wood down with moistened paper towels to get rid of any dust and applied three coats of the IKEA Varda colorless wood stain with an old kitchen cloth. The first two coats were fine but on the third one I could see bits of the thread sticking to the wood. Not too much of a problem, but still not cool. So use a brush, sponge, or an actual lint-free cloth suited for the purpose. The staining was done over a few days with a good several hours of drying in between. Then it was finally time to fit the legs in place. Apart from the slight issue of the cloth fiber sticking to the final coat of stain, overall the table is exactly what I wanted and should give me a bit more room to position everything and save a bit more space. I'll do a video when I update my desktop setup, but till then, I'll leave you with the parts list and info. The links to everything will be included in the description. If you watched this far, make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.